President Lyndon B. Johnson. Now, to be quite honest, a lot of it is just carried on from what JFK started, but you obviously need to know the difference between the two presidencies, although there is some similarities. So President Johnson was totally different to JFK in terms of how he was as a politician, because JFK was very smooth and always knew the right thing to say, where Johnson was a lot more brash and he was a southerner from Texas, so they were poles apart in terms of how they were as politicians. But because they were both Democrats, they really believed in the same type of things. So if you get about Johnson on the exam, there's certain things you'll be expected to talk about. So I'm going to go through a few of the things off the syllabus with you now, and obviously I'll expand on them. So Johnson inherited what JFK had started. And due to JFK dying within his presidency because he was assassinated, Johnson takes over as vice president, and then he gets elected for four years on it, off his own back. Okay, so ultimately people then think he's good, so then they elect him for the next four years. Johnson talked of a great society. He really wanted people to pull together to make America great, as great as it could be. And he also wanted to tackle unemployment and poor housing and also inadequate medical care. So they were the things he was really looking to make changes in. We already know that he did really, really well in terms of civil rights. Because in 1964, he put through the Kennedy Bill, which was to end segregation in all public places. And this worked perfectly because everybody wanted to do that in memory of JFK. In 1965, he did the Voting Rights Act, which allowed people to vote who were black without having to pass literacy tests or silly tests where they had to say about how many presidents there were, and name them in you know, alphabetical order and chronological order and things like that. So he decided that he would do that. And also, the Civil Rights Act of 1968 for fairer and equal housing. Now, that Equal Housing Act was important because it allowed black people to live anywhere they wanted, and as long as they had the money to live there, then they would be able to. And there was nobody who could stop them from renting a place just because of the colour of the skin. He also did the Economic Opportunity Act. Now, he did this in 1964, and this was a really important thing that he did because it provided training to disadvantaged young people between 16 to 21. And this meant that those people would no longer live in poverty, where that had been the case because poverty just used to go in cycles. But now the young people could break out of that cycle. He also recruited teachers to teach in low income slums. So he gave teachers more money to teach in the tougher schools and the tougher areas because he wanted to improve education and the chances that those kids got in those areas. He did what Kennedy had tried to do, but unfortunately he failed because he couldn't get it passed through Congress. So Johnson did Medicare and Medicaid in 1965. And this was medical insurance for the over 65s and hospital care for the poor. Now this is the first time where something like this had really managed to be passed through Congress. So that was a massive help in terms of the people who were going to struggle in terms of medical care because obviously the over 65 tend to get more wrong with them so there would be medical insurance to help them. The development act of 1964 also was money to provide, um, you know, re replace inner city slums, sorry. So basically it was to pro provide better housing in the city slums and in some areas it just got rid of whole areas of towns and then just made new homes for those people. So obviously it cost a lot of money, but it did make those areas much, much better. He also increased the minimum wage from $1.25 to $1.40. So that was obviously an increase and that helped the poorer people. And he was the first president since the 1920s. Well, in the 1920s had been all the immigration quotas put on. He introduced an immigration um, act that meant all racial quotas were ended, so there was no quota system in terms of immigration anymore, and Johnson repealed those immigration quotas. He also made sure safety standards were improved for consumer products, so things like you know, vacuum cleaners had to be safe, te te televisions had to be safe to use and things. And he also started looking into speed limits on motorways, and looking also at people wearing seat belts, so he was all into you know, improving safety across America. But unfortunately, something more to him than this was the involvement in the Vietnam War. And because he'd obviously got involved in the Vietnam War, he became an unpopular president, so he didn't even bother running again after 1968, because he knew people would vote him out. 
Because of what was happening in Vietnam, people stood outside the White House chanting, LBJ, how many kids did you kill today? And things like, 18 today, dead tomorrow. So because of that, he felt that he obviously needed to not be president any longer. So when he finished his term in office in 1968, he didn't run for re-election. But remember, focus in on the things that he does do for America, because there was so much he did do, it's important not to just cloud all that by just talking about the Vietnam War.